Welcome to the Art of Extraordinary Confidence, a show for men who want to 10x their confidence in every area of life, in business, sales, speaking, dating and relationships, and your general social life, everything. You're in the right place. I'm Dr. Aziz, and today we're going to be diving into sales confidence. Now, if you do any sort of sales or if you're interested down the road in doing that, or maybe even creating your own business, this is going to be incredibly important for you because I'm going to peel back a layer that's going to help you see yourself and shift something so you can just approach things head on in a way like you've never seen before and start getting results that you've never seen before. So let's dive into it. Today I want to talk about the avoidant salesman. The avoidant salesman. This is where I used to be. This is where a lot of people that I work with are on some level, even pretty successful salespeople, but who want to take it to the next level. And here's what it is. It's we, here's the most extreme example. Here's me, actually. It was someone is interested in hiring me for my services and I would uh, try, I'd try to do it all through email. Yeah, great. Let's, you know, okay. Let's see if they want to work with me through email. Okay, great. You know, or maybe a short conversation, just a few minutes. Like, hey, do you want to work with me? Okay. Right. And if it was me approaching someone else, just wouldn't even really do it. Right. So there's this, there's this hesitancy. Or you call someone and you are hoping for a voicemail. Right? You say, oh, they didn't pick up. Great. Okay. Hey, this is Aziz and um, be great to work together sometime in the future. Not now, certainly now. Please don't call me back, but in the future, right? There's this avoidance of it. And you might not be in that place, but a lot of people are. A lot of people will not get into many sales conversations. Look, selling happens through connection with each other, through conversations usually. You might be selling through video or writing something online, but then they won't sit down and, and write it. But really, face-to-face is where most people sell over the phone. And we got to get in connection with each other. There has to be some sort of bond like, hey, we're on the same team here. I'm going to try to help you meet your needs and you can trust me. Let's do this. And we want to, uh, but, but when we're scared, we avoid that. And so we don't want to have that direct contact, that direct connection. The next level that I see this occurring at is maybe you get into sales conversations but we're scared of the no. We're scared of the money part. We're scared of the actual sales part. So a lot of people, and I would get into this, I would have, then I progressed into having hour long conversations with people where I'm really helping them out and we're focusing on everything. And at the end, unless they said, hey, I want to work with you and, or I want to get a product from you, I would say, well, see you later, right? Because I was avoidant. I didn't want to bring up the sales part. And maybe you're doing that too. I've seen people who get in these long conversations and they're like, oh, I'm just building rapport and connection. And it's like, "Eh, really? You know, I I think uh, we don't have to be spending so much time doing that because a real rapport comes from finding out what your customer, your client's needs are and providing a powerful solution that helps them. I mean, whatever your product or service is, let's hope it does that. I mean, otherwise, find a new product or service. But usually if it's a good one, it's really helping people. So you want to bring it to that, to their problem, to their life, and what's going on and how, and you want to offer that. You are offering something amazing to them, and you want to bring it into the conversation. And oftentimes, maybe even the product can come up, but guess what we avoid like the plague? It's the same thing that we avoid in our culture almost everywhere, even though everyone's kind of obsessed with it and thinking about it a lot of the time, is money. Money. People are thinking about money a lot, but people rarely talk about money. And they certainly don't talk honestly about money or where they're at with money. Right? And that's in the same thing, that kind of general cultural social discomfort with money comes into the sales conversation. So we're uncomfortable talking about money. Man, I had a lot of stuff to work through on this and still progressively working through it at higher and higher levels. But at first I couldn't even talk about it. I actually got some coaching around that, found an amazing coach who helped me break right through that. Was being able to talk about money, be comfortable talking about money, realize money's okay, it's a good thing, and be able to stay in that money conversation. So you gotta look right now at your life and you're, and you're, if, you're, if you wanna increase sales or grow your business, which is gonna involve increasing sales, look at where am I avoiding? What is the edge? Like, okay, is it more sales conversations? Is it getting into the conversations? Is it when I'm in the conversation, bringing it back to, hey, what we're here to do? Let's really talk about like actually presenting, actually getting information about them and what they need, what would help them. And then of course, actually talking about your product, actually talking about the money 
and actually talking about do they want to get this or not? And if not, let's dive into that. What's getting in the way? Uh, is there, is there, because it sounds like they really want it. So what's happening? Are they scared? Is it a money thing? Is it something else? Let's help them get that. All right, so we got wherever it is, there's always a layer of avoidance. And I've been doing this for a while now and helped a lot of people do this. There's always a layer of avoidance. And there's nothing wrong with it. We're human. So part of us wants to avoid what we're scared of. That's okay. We can blast right through that. We just got to get honest with ourselves. And if you're saying anything like, well, people in this town just don't have any money, or no one likes to buy this product, or, or the economy's really tight, so no one will buy this right now, I think you're selling yourself short. Because whatever industry you're in, no matter what the economic climate, there's someone out there who's crushing it in that exact same field, exact same industry. I don't care what it is. There's always someone who's crushing it. What are they doing differently? And my sense is they are not avoiding anything. They're barreling right towards it. They're going right into what scares them because they know it's going to serve their customers and their clients and themselves more. It's going to serve everyone. It's going to serve the greater good. So let's get out there, face our fears so we can serve ourselves and others and the greater good. So if you'd like to check out more episodes. Oh, by the way, if you really want to take this stuff to the next level, check out my program, Confidence Unleashed. That dives directly into how to face your fears and break through them at the highest level. And there's even a whole specific module on business confidence and it covers a bunch. We go in depth in sales and other areas of your, of your business assertiveness, all that kind of stuff. So check that out. There should be a link uh, below somewhere. I'll, I'll figure that out later. And if you want to watch more episodes of this show, simply click to the left. There should be some fancy videos popping up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Look forward to talking to you in future episodes. Share below what your experience is with being avoidant. Like what is the thing that you're scared of? What is the edge for you? And how, more importantly, how are you overcoming it? How are you breaking through it? Love the comments, love the feedback, love the community. So join in, love to hear your thoughts. And until we speak again, may you have the courage to be who you are and to know that you're awesome.